you've got to hear about the showdown between Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. In one of the most watched Doe NBA games ever, Clark went absolutely insane, delivering a performance for the ages and leaving everyone in shock. This game had everything drama, intensity, and two of the biggest names in women's basketball going head to head. Saturday, the now pro rookies on the WNBA stage. Caitlin Clark had an early run with two back to back threes, finishing with 11 points. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese have been the talk of women's basketball for a while now. These two have a history that goes way back to their college days. Clark was the star at Iowa, known for her insane shooting range and playmaking skills. She could pull up from practically anywhere on the court and make it rain threes. On the other hand, Reese was a beast at LSU, dominating the paint with her physical play and rebounding prowess. She was all about grit and grind, always hustling for those extra points and boards. Their matchups in college were always must-see TV. Whenever Iowa and LSU clashed, you knew sparks were going to fly. Both players brought their A-game, and it was clear that there was something personal between them. The intensity, the trash talk, the clutch plays, it was all there. Fast forward to the WNBA, and their rivalry has only gotten bigger and better. Now, they're not just playing for school pride, but for professional glory, and the stakes have never been higher. And Angel Reese aggressive on the glass with eight offensive rebounds. Reese on the offensive glass. But this was the play of the game. In the fourth quarter, Clark seizing the rebound. Clark another rebound. Tossing the ball to Erica Wheeler, who handed it off to Kelsey Mitchell for the alley oop and the and one. No, oh, that was pretty. Caitlin Clark now plays for the Indiana Fever, and let me tell you, she's been a game changer for them. The Fever have been struggling. But with Clark on the team, they've got a real shot at turning things around. She's been putting up crazy numbers and making history with every game. Her ability to score, assist, and lead on the court has made her an instant fan favorite. Angel Reese, meanwhile, suits up for the Chicago Sky. The Sky have been trying to find their footing this season, and Reese has been a crucial part of their plans. Her physical presence and relentless energy make her a nightmare for opponents. She's the kind of player who can single-handedly change the course of a game with her defense and rebounding. This game was huge, not just for Clark and Reese, but for the WNBA as a whole. It's one of the most watched games in WNBA history, and for good reason. These two players are the future of the league, and every time they face off, it's a showcase of the best that women's basketball has to offer. For Clark, this game was another chance to prove why she's one of the most exciting players in the league. Her performance against Reese and the Sky was about more than just stats. It was about solidifying her place as a superstar. Every clutch shot and every smart play was a reminder of why she's considered one of the best. For Reese, this matchup was a chance to show she's not just a powerhouse in the paint, but a versatile and valuable player. Going up against Clark, with all the history and rivalry, brought out the best in her. The game was intense, physical, and full of drama. Everything you'd expect from these two fierce competitors. Right out of the gate, Caitlin Clark set the tone. Just a few minutes into the game, she drained a deep three-pointer that got the crowd buzzing. You could feel the electricity in the air. Clark has this knack for hitting those big shots early on. And this one was no different. It was like a signal. She was ready to take over. Yeah, but I think it's just like, just respond, come down, let your play do the talking. It is what it is. Um, it's a physical game. Fever head coach Christy Sides expressing frustration with the league. Not to be outdone, Angel Reese responded with her trademark hustle. She was everywhere, snagging rebounds and fighting for every loose ball. Reese's first points came from a gritty play under the basket out-muscling her defenders and laying it up. Her energy was contagious, and you could see it lifting her teammates. It was clear she came to play, and she wasn't going to back down. As the game moved into the second quarter, Caitlin Clark started to showcase her all-around game. It wasn't just about scoring, she was dishing out assists left and right. One of the highlights was a beautiful pass to Aaliyah Boston, who finished strong at the rim. Clark's court vision and ability to find her teammates in perfect positions 
were on full display. And of course, she kept scoring, hitting another three-pointer and a couple of mid-range jumpers. Her versatility was a nightmare for the Sky's defense. Meanwhile, Angel Reese was dominating the boards. Every missed shot seemed to end up in her hands. She was a beast in the paint, grabbing offensive rebounds and giving her team second chances. There was a moment when Reese out-hustled two defenders to grab an offensive rebound, then spun around and scored. It was pure determination and strength. Her presence in the paint was a huge factor in keeping the sky competitive. All these clips into the league, and they keep telling us why we're not right about our calls, but or what we think, but we're gonna keep doing it. The Fever going on to snag their first home win in a game that featured three of the top picks from this year's draft. The intensity on the court was off the charts, and it was clear that neither team was willing to back down. The physicality ramped up significantly in this quarter. You could see it in every play. Bodies were banging, players were hitting the floor, and the refs were blowing their whistles more often. It was a tough, gritty battle, and both teams were trying to assert their dominance. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, being the stars they are, were right in the thick of it. Clark took a few hard hits while driving to the basket, and you could tell she was feeling the physical pressure. Reese, on the other hand, was dishing it out, using her size and strength to her advantage in the paint. Key plays from both players highlighted their resilience and determination. Clark continued to shine, despite the physical defense. There was this one play where she shook off her defender with a quick crossover, pulled up from mid-range, and drained the shot. It was classic Clark smooth, confident, and clutch. She also made a fantastic assist, threading the needle to find a teammate under the basket for an easy layup. Her ability to stay composed under pressure was impressive. Reese, true to form, was a force on the boards. She grabbed a crucial offensive rebound amidst a sea of defenders and powered up for a putback score. Her hustle was relentless. Another memorable moment was when she drove into the lane, absorbed contact from two defenders, and still managed to finish the shot. It was a powerful statement. She wasn't going to be denied. Kicking it out, Evans takes the three, takes the two, and knocks it down. A lot of contact from Reese on Clark underneath, no whistle. The introduction of Camila Cardoso added another layer of excitement to the game. Making her WNBA debut, Cardoso didn't take long to make an impact. Despite being a rookie, she played like a seasoned pro. Her size and presence in the paint were immediately felt. She pulled down several key rebounds and scored her first points on a smooth pick and roll play. One of the standout moments was when she battled with Aliyah Boston under the basket, showing off her defensive skills and shot blocking ability. Cardoso's addition to the game brought fresh energy and made it clear that she's going to be a significant player to watch. The fourth quarter was a roller coaster of emotions. Both teams traded baskets, and the lead changed hands multiple times. Caitlin Clark was on fire, hitting a crucial three-pointer early in the quarter that had the crowd on their feet. She followed it up with a beautiful assist to Aaliyah Boston, who finished with a strong move in the paint. But the Chicago Sky, led by Angel Reese, weren't backing down. Reese was dominant on the glass pulling down offensive rebounds and converting them into points. There were a couple of controversial calls, including a foul on Clark that many thought should have been a flagrant. The refs were letting them play, and it got physical. At least by our account, this, you could have gotten Reese for a personal, but can also see that being a no call. Good no call. Clark's critical plays and leadership were the highlights of the quarter. She orchestrated the offense with precision, making smart decisions and setting up her teammates. Her ability to handle the pressure was incredible. There was a key moment when she drove into the lane, drew the defense, and kicked it out to an open shooter for a three. Her poise and vision were on full display. Clark also hit a tough layup in traffic, showing her fearlessness. Reese, meanwhile, responded with her trademark tenacity. She scored a couple of big baskets down low, using her strength to get good positioning. Her defense was also stellar, blocking shots and altering others. Reese's performance under pressure was impressive. 
She seemed to thrive in the chaotic atmosphere, never backing down. The last few minutes of the game were pure drama. With about two minutes left, the Fever were clinging to a narrow lead. Clark hit a clutch jumper to extend the lead, but the sky came roaring back with a quick three-pointer from Kennedy Carter. The tension was palpable. In the final 30 seconds, Clark made a strategic move that sealed the game. The Fever were up by one point, and the Sky had just missed a crucial shot. Clark grabbed the rebound, dribbled up the court, and rather than rushing a shot, she cleverly threw the ball high into the air to run out the clock. It was a veteran move that showed her basketball IQ and composure. The Sky didn't have enough time to mount another offensive play, and the Fever secured a thrilling 71. 70 victory. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.